welcome guys it is Ficeberg Gaming here and today I'm going to be showing you how to properly play uh, Nintendo DS ROMs or games on your uh, iPad or your iPod touch or your iPhone uh, running iOS 9 so I'll just quickly show you here iOS 9 as you can see 9.0 so I am on iOS 9 um, there's quite a few steps to this uh, tutorial so I'm going to try and go through this fairly quickly uh, but if you have trouble understanding or you just aren't following fast enough then just uh, remember you can pause the video or uh, go back if you need to. I would also like to mention guys that you do not need a computer to um, do this tutorial to install ROMs and you also do not need to be jailbroken. So the first thing you have to do is open up Safari and go to this website iEmulators.com. Everything you need in this tutorial will be linked in the description by the way. Um, so yeah go to iEmulators.com, press apps right here and scroll down a bit until you see NDS for iOS. You're going to want to press this, wait for that to load, and then down here at the bottom you can see the install button, you just want to press that, basically. Um, if you don't see that install button there, um, it might be because you're in landscape mode, because sometimes I find if I have my iPad in landscape mode, um, it doesn't show the install button, so you might want to just change the portrait if it's not there. But anyway, uh, your iPad or your device, whatever you're using, should ask you if you want to install or not. You just want to press install or OK or whatever it comes up with, and it should do that just fine. Um, once it's down, done downloading, you just want to tap the icon. I have mine in a folder here. You just want to tap the icon, and it'll probably end up telling you that you can't open it. Um, you just want to press cancel. Then you go to settings, general, down here you see a profiles button. And there should just be one there. Uh, for me, I've got a few, but um, you're going to want to press the one that uh, goes with NDS for iOS, which you can see right here is this one. So you're just going to want to press trust or whatever it has there, and then you should be able to open up NDS for iOS fine. Once that is done, you're going to want to install Hipstore. And to install Hipstore, you're going to want to go back to Safari and go to this website. Not that one, this one, which is iOS EM. Dot us and uh, you're gonna want to press install now it'll go through a bunch of stuff it'll install this uh, what should look like this at least right here on your uh, home screen and again once you press it you're gonna have to go back to profiles again and accept it most likely um, and then once you've done that open it up here wait for it to load it should come up with this and then at the bottom of the page you press the uh, image that looks like an arrow pointing downwards press that and uh, then press apps and games and it should take you to this um, you can see right here hip store you're gonna want to press hip store and it'll come up with this want to press install and then uh, once that's done uh, try to open it up if it asks you to do that um, thing with the profiles again just go ahead and do that once that's done open up hip store wait for it to load um, on my internet connection, it tends to take a while before it will actually let me input any text into the search bar. Because as you can see, I'm actually tapping the um, magnifying glass there at the top right, but it's not doing anything. So I usually have to wait like at least a minute before it lets me do something. So um, it might be the same situation with you. Alright, so once this page is loaded, you should be able to search for things. So what you're going to want to do is search up iZip. So once you've searched that up, it should automatically come up with these uh, suggestions here. Gonna want to press iZip Pro Zip Unzip Unra Tool, and once this is loaded, you want to press Download. It'll probably come up with a thing saying, "Do you want to install this or not?" Just go ahead and do that. It'll do all that stuff, install it, and eventually it'll go onto your uh, home screen. So once you've done that, you actually have everything you'll need to uh, get the ROMs onto NDS for iOS. Um, so once you have that, go back to Safari once again for the final time and go to emuparadise.mobi Mobi. This is um, where we're going to download our ROMs. I think it's probably the best website, um, but there are other, other websites that you can use for this. Um, and let's say, let's say Pokemon, Pokemon Pearl. Um, I sh would also like to point out, guys, only download ROMs you actually have in real life. Like, don't download ROMs that you haven't already played on a legitimate Nintendo DS. Let's just press this one here. Pokemon Pearl, Legacy ROM, yep. Go down a bit until you see this, which is download Pokemon Pearl. Press that. Go down again, press the same looking link. And after that, it'll look like nothing's happening, but don't worry, it is actually downloading in the background. Just leave your device on this page and eventually it'll come up with a uh, 
screen. Right, so once that is done, you're going to want to press open in and then press copy to iZip Pro. Might take a little while. And once you get this message, you want to press OK to extract all the files. I would also like to mention, guys, this is only um, an issue that you'll have if you're downloading a ROM that comes in a .7z far, uh, format or a .rar format. Um, because NDS for iOS only opens .zip files, so this is why we have to use this application. But anyway, um, you're going to want to press that back arrow. You can see this folder right here. You want to select that and press zip at the bottom. Press zip with no password. Um, give it a name. This is what it'll show up as within um, NDS for iOS. So I'm just going to call it Pokemon Pearl. Wait a little while and it is done. So once you have that zip file right here, you're going to want to select it once again and press open in. Then you should see copy to NDS for iOS. You want to press that. It'll open up in NDS for iOS and then you have the ROM. At this point, you are actually done. Um, so yeah, it'll start up and it'll just be like using an actual DS. One thing I would also like to point out is if you go to settings within NDI NDS for iOS, you may want to put frame skip on one um, for better performance on maybe either lower end devices or maybe if you just want a little bit of performance, a little bit of extra performance in general. Um, auto works too, but I prefer to have mine on frame skip. Everything else is just um, user preference. And yeah, that's pretty much all you have to do. So um, thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you want to see more, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. If you need help, leave a comment. I'll probably be able to respond to you. And yeah, I think that's all I have to say. So thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.